Welcome to the Jamboard module. Let's get started by heading over to Jamboard. We can use the app launcher in the top right hand corner to scroll down and choose Jamboard. You can also go to jamboard.google.com. Jamboard is a digital whiteboard. It allows for creativity and collaboration. Students can sketch, draw, add shapes, text boxes, and lots more. Let's get started. Click the plus button in the bottom right hand corner. Let's give our jam a title. Here on the left side is your toolbar. There's a pen tool, so students can write on the board. They have the choice of using a pen, a marker, a highlighter, or a paintbrush. There's an eraser that you can use to erase small objects, or up here at the top, you can clear the whole frame. There's a selection tool to be able to move objects around, a sticky note creator, a shape creator. By clicking and holding, you have other options. You can use the fill tool at the top to change colors. There's a text box creator. And then finally, a laser for presenting. By using the select tool, you can select objects, move them around, and select context menus. Here at the top, we can create multiple pages or frames. We can share Jamboards and have multiple collaborators or contributors. Click the share button in the top right corner and add collaborators. Let's take a look at Jamboard in action. We created this thinking canvas from unstuck learning designs backgrounds. This Kanban board is great for using with students to see where each of them is with their project. We added the Kanban board as a background and students can each use a sticky note to tell us where they are in their project. This could be shared so multiple people are contributing or each student can have their own copy. Let me show you how to create one. Create a new jam. Give it a name. Set the background. There are many backgrounds to choose from, but we'll upload our own. I have our thinking canvas as an image. I'll drag it in. This allows us to have it as a background so it can't be edited. Students can add a sticky note and add it to the correct column. When you click clear frame, it erases the sticky notes, but not the background. We can share this with students with the share button, but I might want to use Google Classroom. Let me show you how. Here in Google Classroom under classwork, I can hit create create an assignment, then I can add the jam from Google Drive. What's nice about using Classroom is that you can choose how to share your file. All students can edit the same jam at the same time, or you can make a copy for each student. You can also use jams as provocations. I'll make an announcement for my weekly engagement activity. I click here and add a jam from my Google Drive. Now my students can collaborate together to solve problems. Let's create another jam. Instead of handing out worksheets in the classroom, we can create our own here. I'll add a worksheet as a background. Now students can click on the pen tool, select the highlighter, and choose a color and work on the worksheet. These jams are automatically saved to your Google Drive, but you can export them too. Click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. I could save this frame as an image, or I can download the entire jam as a PDF. Jamboards are a great way to present and collaborate with your students.